The African wild dog is one of the world's most endangered animals on our planet. They are characterized by their long legs and irregular coat pattern. In the wild, they live in herds and are remarkably social, helping each member of the herd. When they are weak or sick, up to 20 members can work together to search for food. Unfortunately, African wild dogs are critically endangered due to ongoing habitat fragmentation, conflicts with human activities, infectious diseases, and most importantly dominated by lions. But what's fascinating about these creatures is that they help each other, whether it's sharing food or sometimes even risking their own lives to help and defend their pride against predators. Learn more about this selfless animal with these 30 facts about African wild dogs. The African wild dog is native to sub-Saharan Africa. The African wild dog is a canine or biological family of canine carnivores. They have become one of Africa's endangered species. From around 500,000 in the wild, the African wild dog population is down to 3,000 to 5,000 today and may be slightly larger than the German Shepherd. A fascinating example of African wild dogs The truth about dogs is that although these creatures may appear small, they can actually be a bit larger than German Shepherds. And is approximately 24 inches 60 centimeters, tall at the shoulder and typically weighs between 33 and 50 pounds 16 and 23 kilograms. They can run extremely fast. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell because a large number of people who watch the channel are not subscribed, so don't miss the upcoming wonderful daily videos, let's continue. The African wild dog is an opportunistic predator. When it hunts its prey, antelopes, for example, it will hunt them to the point of exhaustion. They can run at over 45 miles per hour, or the average speed of a stroller, and are specialized diurnal hunters, meaning they hunt during the day. It is not good to keep them as pets. Despite belonging to the Canada family, African wild dogs are neither wolves nor dogs, but they do share a resemblance to wolves, so making them pets is not a good idea, African wild dogs like to stay as far away from humans as possible. They generally do not attack livestock unless there is a lack of common prey. There was a tragedy involving African wild dogs at the Pittsburgh Zoo. The local savages are not afraid of the African wild dog and no cases of wild dogs attacking humans, although they may fight back as an act of self-defense, have been reported. In 2012, feral dogs at the Pittsburgh Zoo killed a two-year-old boy after falling into his pen, but made no attempt to eat the boy, African wild dogs have rounded ears. Their rounded ears serve two different purposes, the first is for hunting, they have excellent hearing, and the second is for cooling, which is suited to the hot African climate, air moves over the blood vessels in their ears and carries the heat. African wild dogs play an important role in the ecosystem. Like most predators, African wild dogs play an important role in the ecosystem, removing diseased and weak animals, helping to maintain natural balance, and enhancing prey species. They can also go without water for long periods of time when drinking, as long as the food they eat is relatively moist. And although they are diurnal, they can also hunt or travel at night if necessary. You have several English. Names I and the English language, the African wild dog has several names, E at G, B, African hound, painted hound, Cape hound, painted lycon, and painted wolf. In an effort to change the species name, some organizations are calling them painted wolves because the term wild dog has numerous negative connotations that could damage their image. You can have a litter of 2 to 20 puppies. Generally, a monogamous breeding pair dominates African wild dogs, and the female can have a litter of around 2 to 20 pups. And because they are extremely social, the whole pack can take care of these puppies, based on observations in the wild. They may share food and even help endangered members. They can also communicate through actions, touch, and vocalizations. Lions are their main predator. With lions dominating the wild, they have become the leading cause of mortality in the African wild dog, both in cubs and adults. In fact, in the 1960s, as the lion population declined, African wild dogs grew in number, leading to an increase in their sightings. 
However, as the lion population began to recover, the African wild dog population declined again. Click here to watch the video, you can kill an old or injured lion. On a few occasions, African wild dogs have fought and been seen successfully defending their pack and even attacking an old or injured lion. A recorded incident occurred where a pack of African wild dogs successfully prevented a lion from killing one of them. The lion was forced to retreat and the surviving wild dog rejoined the pack. And don't forget to watch the previous videos in the channel. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch the upcoming wonderful videos. See you again in the next video.